Hey Cancer, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are y'all doing? It has been a minute. It's been a minute. I have been refreshing, so I'm good to go. I'm on fire. Got my mojo. It's all good. So, Cancer, this is your reading for the last half-ish of August, right? It's from whenever it resonates to whenever it doesn't. Each and every one of these cards is a physical, mental, or emotional process, and it just depends on how long it takes you to process and how long it takes anybody else in the reading to process as well. That's how long it will take this reading to be. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. As always, do not ever ever make a life-altering decision based on a general reading, particularly this one, okay? I got to tell you, Cancer, that this is not a good reading. (laughs) It's not, but maybe it's warning somebody out there, so I'm going to give it to you anyway, okay? Maybe it's some kind of a warning. Um, I got to tell you, it's, um, I'm going to give a spoiler alert. I do believe that this reading is about somebody getting fired from their job or somebody being removed from some kind of position of some sort. So if that even remotely rings true with you, stay tuned and we're going to dive into this. Okay. If it doesn't, um, I will put out a cancer bonus because I know this is a very specific reading, but nevertheless, like I said, it might be a heads up for some of you who might not even know this is coming. So let's do it. So you open this reading cancer with the star card, right? You need hope and faith and renewal because you are in the nine of swords hard, right? In the nine of swords hard, intense anxiety and despair. Thinking about justice, okay? Thinking about justice. And that's going to make more sense as we go on. Judgment comes in and says that um, there's a decision that you have to make. There's some kind of or some kind of decision being made against you, right? The high priestess says that um, that it, it's kind of a. It almost reminds me of court, right? You have the high priestess to the devil, the judgment card, the justice card. It's almost like it's almost like heaven or hell type of stuff, right? Um, and I don't quite understand what it is, and, and neither do you in the moon card, right? Neither do you. This is you doubting yourself big time in this moon card, doubting yourself big time, right? Some force more powerful than you with the devil card um, holds your fate in their hands, okay? The fate that they hold in their hands is the princess of wands, being, let's see, followed by the five, picking up. Okay. The, so the princess of wands being, um, pessimism, right? Uh, so it's just, just like a, a negative, right? Cause on the upside, she's all enthusiastic, but I'm reading her on the other side because uh, you're not enthusiastic at all. You are, um, extremely pessimistic. Five of Pentacles comes in and says that you are really worried, worried about your finances, worried about being left out in the cold somehow, some way. The Hermit card comes in and says you're doing some soul searching and some introspection because there very well may be a regretful but necessary transition in your future. The Prince of Swords says that this is, this is, is, is almost imminent, right? To the high priestess again, second time high priestess, right? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm using I'm using the two decks, okay? I got the old tarot Illuminati and I got the new tarot Illuminati, okay? This is the same deck, same deck, and I'm using the new tarot Illuminati for the root cards, and I'm using the old tarot Nami, a tarot Nami, yeah, to clarify, okay? All right just because we got two high priestesses of the same suit of the same deck, right? So high priestess, again, this is you praying to God that this judgment goes in your favor. Seriously, it is. It is you praying to God that this judgment goes in your favor. However, we have a king of swords that is um, maybe at the helm here. And this king of swords is in reverse. This is tyrannical abusive, maybe somebody has a misuse of power, impulsive, angry, or maybe you, Cancer, 
did I call you Scorpio earlier? I hope not. Cancer, Cancer. This is a reading for Cancer. This is the cards they pulled for Cancer. This King of Swords, um, uh, maybe you did something that got you in trouble. Maybe you had a misuse of power. Maybe you were impulsive. Maybe you um, lashed out in anger. But either way, this King of Swords right here, his behavior is leading towards somebody being left out in the cold, okay? Now, this King of Swords and this Five of Pentacles is clarified by the devil again, twice in this reading, twice the high priestess, twice the devil, okay? This, this energy right here, this Five of Pentacles, worry, potential financial um, disorganization, loss, worrying about your money, worrying about your security all the way around. This King of Swords over here is kind of an irrational kind of person. And unfortunately, if it's not you that did this, somebody who is irrational is holding the reins that um, will either uh, take you, that, that he's, he's got all the control, okay? Okay. Seven of Cups says that it's uh, confusion, 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 options, choices, decisions, confusion, wishful thinking, wishful thinking that you are going to be able to work with the Eight of Pentacles. This card is about work. Wishful thinking about your job. Seven of Pentacles says that the investment that you have made is not going to reap the profit and reward. Because the Seven of Pentacles also says that there's been much, much reflection and assessment concerning motivations in this whole situation. And that King of Swords is right there again. This is the guy, I, I, this is the guy that, that is holding the power of your fate in their hands. And the Ten of Wands comes in and says it's a burden and it's a struggle. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. In the center of your reading, this entire reading revolves around the fact that you feel stuck. Your hands are tied. There's nothing you can do. Your fate is strictly in the hands of somebody else and somebody who is rather angry. The Empress in reverse says that you are codependent on this person. You are codependent on them for probably your finances. Yes, Eight of Pentacles. You are codependent on them for your job, for your finances, for the way that you make your pentacles. The Queen of Cups to the Five of Cups says that you are just really feeling major loss, regret, disappointment, despair, and bereavement in your feelings. Queen of Cups is all about being emotionally insecure and, again, codependent. The hangman in reverse tells us that you are feeling um, that, that you're feeling um, a lot of indecision, of course, but there are um, just 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 indecision, right? Indecision because your whole life depends on this with the ten of cups, right? The happiness, harmony, your home, your kids, your whole well-being depends on the decision of this King of Swords character right here. Well. Here's where it goes south, Cancer. The death card comes in and says just that, an end. It is ending. The king of pentacles talks about your ambitions. Your ambitions in this situation have come to a screeching halt. They're, they're ended. It's over. That's the, that's the sword of the king of swords, right? It's over. The commitment that you had to this person, place, or thing is over. The decision is made and your commitment is over. It's going to require a lot of strength from you, right? It's going to require a lot of strength because there is financial disorganization, maybe even mental, just disorganization all the way around in your personal security. Three of Swords says that this is sorrow and heartbreak and grief and rejection. Queen of Swords says somebody cut you out of something hard. Ace of Cups says just overwhelming emotion, overwhelming emotion to the King of Cups. This is emotional uh, volatility, just emotional volatility. And you end this whole situation here um, 
um, with an ending to whatever it is that you were worried about right there, it ends, it's over, and you really have um, a hard minute there to deal with. So I apologize, um, Cancer. I really, really do. I apologize. Um, but this is what I got. So I don't know. Maybe it gives somebody a heads up. Maybe it relates to some of y'all out there. I don't know. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know. I read them all, right? I read them all. So anyway, Cancer, there you go. If you want to hit me up for a personal reading, um, my link in the box below, deepthoughtswithdana.com. And I would love to read your personal cards. I really would. I really, really would. I would like to see how this ends, what this is about, and what are the players in it, and how does it affect you personally. So anyway, there you go, you guys. Um, I hope I help somehow, some way. Okay. Like I said, I'll be putting out another bonus for you guys because I know this is really limited. Okay. Thanks. Namaste.